Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, gotta say, phew, dodged a bullet there. If you haven't been paying attention to the weather in this part of the world, yesterday I showed you how it went from 75 degrees, boom, down to like 35 degrees, all in the course of a day. It rained and rained and rained and rained, and then it turned to snow as the temperatures, you know, plummeted all the way down. And it was like that pretty much all night. I did say that I didn't think the snow would stick here in Virginia Beach because it was in the 70s. The ground was way too warm. It didn't snow nearly enough to sort of beat the race where it was melting faster than it could accumulate. We didn't get any accumulation here, although all over the place there seemed to have been some pretty decent accumulation. The staggering realization was when I woke up this morning and read the news headline that people had been trapped in their cars on I-95 in Northern Virginia, pretty much where I had to drive. I think that I made a good decision about not going on the road this week and changing all my meetings to virtual, which I did have them all today. Everybody was very good about accommodating that last minute change, and we had some good conversations and got a lot of work done. I'm still freaked out by the fact that that, that happened. I mean, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of cars and trucks just sitting there for over 20 hours waiting to be rescued. And I shudder to think that I could have been trapped in that. I'm just one single dumbass. So me sitting in my forerunner, I probably would have zapped it into four wheel drive and I would have driven up the damn middle of the road or on the berm or whatever I could have done to get out of there. Not everybody has that ability. Who knows, I wasn't there. It might've been so bad that you couldn't even do that. But okay, let's forget that. Think of all those people that had family members in the car, pets, people with medical emergencies. That had to have been just horrible and, and albeit possibly even terrifying. Glad that's not happening to me right now. And I'm hoping that that won't be an issue going forward because I basically have to drive up through there almost every time I go out on a route. And I don't like that. That being said, I've been sitting here in my office for the past two days doing all this work. Again, I had yesterday off and didn't realize I had yesterday off, but I actually spent the entire day working. And that leads me to my next point. I gotta stop doing that. There's nothing wrong with me working, but there's a problem when I'm just sitting there at my desk all damn day, not moving, because I was miserable last night. I had the worst headache, and I know this is why. It's because I just sat there. I never got up. I mean, all right, I did get up, I went out and, and went to Target real quick for milk and I went to Starbucks and that was it. So just that one break throughout the day. Otherwise, I was just sitting here all morning from like eight o'clock until eight o'clock last night. So 12 hours of just sitting there, we'll just call it 10. 10 hours of just sitting there is not good for my angry spine. I started to do that today and then I thought, well, all right, I'll just go out. And, and check the mailbox or something, which I did do, but I didn't have to. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything. So I didn't have to go out, but I'm glad that I did because I could already feel that stiff neck coming on and I needed to get out there. Now, it was pretty cold today, but it was sunny. You know, it kind of messes with your melon because you look outside and you see blue sky and sun and you think, all right, it's gonna be warm. And then you walk outside and slap, it's freaking 35 degrees. I guess tomorrow it's not going to be sunny. In fact, it might be rainy, but the temperature is going to be almost 60. Here we go again, you know, that whole up and down thing, which tends to make people sick. One of the other things that I did today, I filmed before I went out and when I was out. Again, like a dumbass, I had it on manual focus and I didn't realize it. Not that it matters because most of the stuff that I shot today, I wasn't going to show you anyways because it was stupid and pointless and there was no way that I was going to post it. That leads me to my next and final point of this video. Not knowing what the hell to shoot. I'm not really sure what people even come to this channel for. And I've been saying this all along, the entire time I've been filming and posting stuff on this channel. Lately, I've had enough gear. You know, I mean, it was Christmas. I got new stuff. I showed you that. I got a new computer. You know, I'm, I've been trying different configurations. I've been redoing the studio. I'm redoing the garage and all that kind of stuff. So there has been stuff for me to post, but on days like today, what am I gonna talk about? I don't really wanna show you any gear that I have. I've already showed it to you. I haven't gotten anything new. I can only drive you around Virginia Beach while I bitch and moan about shitty drivers so many times. And I can only sit here in my studio and blather on about nothing either. I kind of feel like I'm going the Seinfeld route without the humor. 
it's a channel about nothing. Sometimes I feel that and it gets frustrating because I'm not sure what to do. Although I want to do a video every day and I want to post something. So I guess that's kind of what this is about. And I don't really know what to talk about. So I just start blathering on. You know, I have said before that you see, we'll say anywhere from five minutes to 15 minute videos. Those 15 minute videos, man, I gotta, it drives me crazy to, to put up a video that, that that's that long because I don't really think I have anything that, that's going to keep your interest for 15 minutes. Somewhere around seven to 10 minutes is just fine for me. But a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, all the time, I have hours of stuff that I have shot throughout the day that I have to edit down into seven to 10 minutes. I'll go through my timeline probably four times cutting things out because I'll go through, I'll cut out the big spaces. I'll cut out some of the dumb shit that I say. Then I try to see where it's going and I'll go through it a second time and I'll be like, what the hell am I putting that in there for? Nobody cares about that. Boom, that gets cut. But then I got to go through and make sure that every other thing that I left after that cut still makes sense all the way through the end of the video. Because if I cut something out and then I refer to it at the end of the video, but I've cut it out, you're going to be like, what the hell is he talking about? So I go through the timeline probably five times minimum every video. I don't even really know where I'm going with that. Just that I really didn't have anything to shoot today, but I wanted to shoot something. So this is what you're getting. <laughs> and that's really all I've got for you today. It's been an interesting day of work. I'm glad I wasn't stuck on the highway in my truck for 24 hours. And that's what you get today. So as always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.